Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Eight Thirsty. Where we come to you with the word and we read it together. What are we reading today? Today we're reading 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And who have we got here? We've got little Guyvy, Amory, Skylar, and in the background we've got Lola. She might come wandering up. <laughs> Let's get into it. 40 verses today. Yeah. Okay. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exaltation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. I would that I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy, prophesied. For greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret, that the church may receive edifying. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge, or by prophesying or by doctrine. And even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words, easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. There are, it may be, so many kinds of kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification therefore if I know not the meaning of the voice I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me even so ye for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Else when thou shalt bless with the spirit, how shall he that occupieth the room of the unlearned say amen at the giving of thanks, seeing he understandeth not what thou sayest? For thou verily givest thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Brethren, be not children in understanding, howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. Wherefore tongues are for a sign not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. The mm. prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. If therefore the whole church be come together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, Will they not say that ye are mad? But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest, and so falling down on his face he will worship God, and report that God is in you of a truth. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be two or at, that, at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak to himself and to God. Let the prophets speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. For you may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. 
For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace and is in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the church, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. What? Came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you only? If any man thinks think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. In order. He is the God of not confusion. No. Can okay. you imagine, Jess, how this church at Corinth would have looked? We can only imagine with the information that we have. Yeah, but they were a messy bunch. They were super carnal. Yeah. And he had to reprimand them a lot. Yeah. And we're so weak today with reprimanding and reproof. Ooh, yeah. It's very difficult when there's not a lot of accountability in the churches I've been. I no. haven't been pulled up for a lot. I should have been pulled up for more. Mm. <laughs> In all honesty, um, even though I might have been sincere. If you're sincerely wrong, you should be reprimanded. Mm. Anyway, um, or I'm really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so we just read in the previous chapter about love. And we also read about um, the gifts. So this is like a follow-on. And what I noticed is, um, you know, where we go... Verse 8 from yesterday's chapter. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect, the word of God completed, mm -hmm. when that is come, then that which is in part, prophecy, tongues, um, shall be done away with. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, not mm -hmm. yet completed word yep. of God in Corinthians. But then, face to face, now I know part, part prophecy, but then shall I know also, even also as I am known. Yeah. So... If that's building on what we're talking about today. Yeah, and verse 20 today. Brethren, mm -hmm. be not children in understanding. Yes. How be it in malice, be ye children, but in understanding be men. Saying, you can't act like children and expect to have understanding. No. So these guys in Corinth, uh, they, they're they all, I imagine them all in church in a large gathering being like, I've got a, I've got a word, I've got a prophecy, I've got a... I've got blah, 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 tongues. And this is at a time when that was happening still. So yeah. there were... There were people um, that did speak yeah, in yeah. tongues. But Paul knew that it was time for that to start ceasing. Yeah. So he's warning them, don't be, don't worry if you haven't got um, the gift of tongues. Don't worry if you haven't got prophecies. That's coming to an end. But it is better to have prophecy and that's... That is the word of God. So at that time, I was speaking about this with Luke yesterday, my husband. Um, at that time, the prophecy was still happening. That's why we still had the writing of the books. And we yeah. believe that Paul completed the word of God. Yeah. So even though Revelation is the last book in your Bible, ladies, um, it is actually written at a time before. So um, you can do a bit of research on that one yourself. But... In saying that, Paul knew that it was coming to an end, mm -hmm. that it would be complete, and it would be no neither. Yeah. Uh, hang on. No need. Yeah. Further. Yeah. For more prophecy. Don't add to the book, Sam. Yep. You tell me not to I add won't. to it. I won't. Don't you add to it. I shan't. Good. <laughs> um, yeah. I love the verse um, 1436. What? Came the word of God out from you mm -hmm. or came it unto you only? Mm -hmm. It's saying you don't create the word of God. It comes to you, not out of you. Wow. 
from the spirit of God. Yeah. So don't, don't be like, I can just imagine the hectic chaos here where he's having to say to people, you don't, if you're, if you've got a word and you've got a word and you've got a word, don't be all speaking it at once. Like a bunch of chickens. Yeah. It's, it's disorderly. And he's, he's rebuking them for their disorder. How about this verse? Yeah. You read that one. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So it's a good warning, isn't it? When things start to get confusing, yeah. have a look at what's happening. Every single time I have been a part of a church, from a little person to the age of, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, six years ago, there would be moments in church where I would be confused. I'd be like, Hang on, there feels like a tug in my spirit. There feels like this opposition of spirits going on. Why is there this confusingness going on? And you know what? That's a sign. If you feel like that's something in your spirit, if you feel confusion going on, yeah, there's something strange going on because God is not the author of confusion. Since understanding, that's Biff. He says hello. Since understanding how to rightly divide the word of truth and understand what is for me, the whole book is for me, but what is specifically to me? Yeah. I'm no longer seeing confusion. I'm seeing such clarity. Yeah. Because we see through a glass now, not dimly lit. This is face to face. We see him face we to face. We have it all complete. So that's why we're asked to study it, to show ourselves approved. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes, as girls especially, we can study our face in the mirror, you know? Look in the mirror, make sure, especially if we've got to, got to go out. I certainly didn't do that this morning. Maybe I should have. But like, oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure. Lola might have done that this morning. Whoa. She's so fast. She's so fast. <laughs> but if we studied our face in the mirror, <laughs> Wow, Gabby Duncan. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement She's here. So fast. Okay, go. <laughs> Sam, if I studied your face and had to draw you, <laughs> right? I would have to study you really well to be able to draw you well. Really, really well. Mm. And even then, I'm not sure I could do a great job because I'm not very artistic. However, when we look into this, we see him face to face. We see God face to face and we can read straight off the page and that is him. Yeah. Study to show yourself approved. This is just what it brings it back to me to understand what we've been asked to do. Yeah. And these people, these people, like they had the Old Testament at this time. Yes. So, And they had a couple of other books. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they had been taught in the pattern of the Old Testament prophets yep. to test every prophecy. And if it didn't line up with doctrine, then they were to reject that. Yep. But these Corinthians weren't doing that. They were just spouting off everything that came to their lips and causing this confusion. Yeah. So, yeah. So don't do it. So don't do that. Mm. <laughs> but great chapter. And there's a great one coming tomorrow as well, Yay. even longer. Yeah. Um, great job, pigs and dogs, for putting on a show. Because <laughs> that doesn't always happen. <laughs> it's like they, they knew what, what to do. <laughs> I think the dogs think that she's slow and fat, but she's not. She's fast and strong. She really is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't go in there. They could if they wanted to. They could leap over, but they don't. <laughs> They've been told where their boundaries they are. Don't, they don't want to be in amongst the confusion. Oh, let's not be in the confusion. <laughs> Have a super duper day. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, I... it's hard to know where it is, isn't it? It's right there. You're yeah. almost there. You're there. Bang. Bye. See ya. <laughs>